with a compounded annualized growth rate at a jaw-dropping 21.7%. The industry is expected to grow by an incredible margin from 8.1 to 39.21 million units by 2030. And why wouldn't it? Consumers all over the globe have been demanding for a clean earth through cars having minimal toxic emissions to the atmosphere. An idea electric cars were made for. However, the path towards dominance in the market is no longer clear as a crystal for the industry. The recent spikes in electricity prices could jeopardize the future ahead. Where does this leave the industry? And what lies ahead in the future? This and many more questions will be dissected in this video, so be sure to stay with us till the end. Did you know that 2022 is predicted to be another record-breaking year? That's right. Only last year, around 9.5% of new passenger car registrations were EVs, and by this year, guess what? It's now over 13%. Fast forward to the dawn of rising electricity prices, and now things may just be looking different in the near future. Yeah, sure, electric vehicles are by no means cheap. As a matter of fact, they are more expensive than gas-powered cars on average. Coupled with the electricity concerns nowadays, a lot of people may be influenced to reignite their interest in gas cars. But how did things even get this way? It wasn't always like this, or was it? Well, there are two major reasons why the price of electricity is at a sky-high level. One of the reasons is the gas shortage on a global stage. Don't Google an explanation just yet. We've got you covered. Here is a breakdown to help you wrap your head around it. Across Europe, gas prices have been exploding particularly with the war between Russia and Ukraine since the beginning of 2022 that has led to an increase in demand. There has been a widespread shortage. And like a domino effect, the shortage in question has led to an increase in gas prices, which has also affected electricity costs. Can you imagine? Like a ball of wool, it's all intertwined. A quick look at the United Kingdom, for example. Throughout Northern Ireland, Wales, Scotland, and even England, the nation's energy mix is crazily dependent on natural gas. Here are the statistics. Last year, from September to November, the overall percentage of gas used was 49% of the United Kingdom's entire electricity generation. Clearly, Whenever the price of gas increases, electricity will increase as well. It's always going to happen. Another reason why your electricity bill is skyrocketing now is the environmental taxes. No offense to King Charles, but we'll be using the United Kingdom as an example once more. Over the past decade, the government of the United Kingdom has imposed a tax on electricity. Why? You may ask, here's the simple answer. To generate money to fund renewable energy production across the nations, the levies had to be implemented. The tricky part is that while it definitely helps to keep emissions low, it also increases the price of electricity. Let's blow your mind a little. Do you know that electricity can be more expensive than gas? Oh yeah, that's right. According to the German Association of Energy and Water Industries, in Germany in the latter months of 2021, the price of electricity was around 32.16 per kWh, whereas gas was just 9.7 p. Wild, right? Now that we've addressed that, let's talk about how this could affect the electric vehicle industry. Fan of electric vehicles or not? You've probably heard the notion of EVs having a lower running cost in comparison to gas-powered cars, yeah? Before we go into just how true that is, let's add a little to just how the electricity prices have spiked up, affecting the residential and commercial charging rates for electric cars. Alejo, 
The charging operator for electric cars increased their rates in many European nations in September 2022. Not only that, but they also announced a raise in October. Let's look at some examples, shall we? In September, the tariff rates for charging in Germany went up from 43 cents per kilowatt hour to 47 cents. It may look cheap on paper, but just think about it in the long run. A month, a year, 10 years. Do the math, and those numbers become significantly larger. Express charging has also risen from 65 to 70 cents per kilowatt hour. And what about the fastest charge? The ultra-fast charging tariff more than expectedly went up as well. This time, it went from 68 cents to 75 per kWh. What's more, according to a breakdown by race, between the months of May to the month of September, the costs of charging an electric vehicle using public charge points rose by 42% in the UK. With all the rising prices of electricity, there is now a larger shadow cast on the future of electric cars. So the multi-million dollar question remains, are electric cars still better in the long run? If you ask us, yes. Without a doubt even, according to RAC, despite the rising costs of electricity, it is still way cheaper to run an electric car in comparison to traditionally gas-powered cars. And these aren't our words merely, but the words of the spokesperson of RAC, Rod Dennis, who said, the impact of the energy price cap increase will certainly be felt by drivers who charge their electric cars at home, with a full charge of a typical family-sized electric SUV costing 84% more from the 1st of October than it did under the old cap, 33.80 compared to 18.37. He went on to add, despite recent falls in the price of petrol and diesel, the cost of charging at home is still a good value compared to paying for either fuel. But again underlines just how the rising cost of electricity is affecting so many areas of people's lives. Where does that leave the fast approaching golden era of the electric vehicle industry? For starters, cars operated by internal combustion engines typically need fuel to run, and that naturally, or mechanically, we should say makes them a bit aged. Cars have been fashioned to run on such requirements for fossil fuel for over a century. On the other hand, electric vehicles have their energy stored in batteries. When you think about an ideal future, what kind of cars do you think of? Low emission, eco friendly rides. That's an electric vehicle. They are the future. Do you also know that electric cars can get their energy from multiple means? Oh, yeah, it's not just plugging in like your TV set. How electric vehicles work is that the stored energy in the batteries can be from so many means it's indifferent, and it doesn't care. You can get energy from hydroelectric power nuclear power, and even solar power through panels that can be conveniently placed on the roof of your house. Imagine your batteries are low and you have to attend to something really important. You can easily charge your battery while having a shower and dressing up. Before you're done, it would be comfortably juiced, surreal. And if that doesn't do it for you, then this will. Sunlight is a constant, natural phenomenon. We all know that. So consider the fact that the average user doesn't use his ride for about 95% of the time, and you'll see that there's more than a sufficient window of time to recharge from the sun for free. Remember the happenings of the lockdown period in 2020? What happened? There were quite a lot, right? Well. We're referring to the events where energy companies had to pay customers to use some of their renewable equipment instead of turning them off. The National Power Generation Networks produced way too much electricity that users didn't even know what to do with it at the time. Looking back, 
now that we're in a crippling energy crisis. It's hard to believe such an abundance happened not so long ago. However, in times like that, electric cars would be the near-perfect solution as they would more than happily take advantage of the excess power. As technology is constantly evolving, so many countries are looking into building more robust power networks that can allow them to store solar energy from the sun into huge grid-scale batteries to be used when there's an electricity crisis. And electric cars are sure not to miss out. Trials are already underway to study how feasible electric car batteries can transfer stored power into a local grid during a shortage. We absolutely can't wait for it. In summary, everyone is paying more for electricity now, but with the prices going up, there are still so many ways to save up your money by bringing your costs down. Here are some ideas on how to pull off what seems like a cheat code. First things first, snoop around the competition. Yup, look across the board. You wouldn't find a magically cheap deal. But if you look closely, you may just find an energy provider that can give you a better rate than the one you're currently on. Also, you should probably consider using your car less. Yeah, you're probably thinking, thanks for the advice, Captain Obvious, but you should be watching those numbers. Showing off your shiny beast of a ride is quite remarkable. But if you head out too often, especially when it's not needed, you're piling up your costs. So why not be more prudent? It really won't hurt to take a walk or ride a bike sometimes. That's a free fitness tip right there. It's also pivotal to add that in the long run, the prices would surely get back to normal. And just like before, your running costs would be even lower than combustion cars. So why not make moves with that in mind? We're sure you enjoyed this video, so please like and comment with your opinions below. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. See you in the next video.